Hey guys, what's up? It's Saba coming at you guys from uh, my bedroom. Um, so yeah, this will be my my first video for uh, my MC Army Fun Ghoul channel. Um, but yeah, so like, what I would like to talk to you about uh, in this very first video for this channel um, is my my favorite. Uh, my Chemical Romance songs and why they are my favorite songs. Um, but first I'd like, uh, um, do just want to say that I know, like, um, I say like an um a lot. Uh, what is it I could say? How I first got into My Chemical Romance um, is actually quite an awesome, amazing story. <laughs> um, you see, I was like six, almost seven years old, and my cousin Leah, who was maybe about 13 at the time. She's a lot older than I am. I don't even know how, she, how old she is today. I think she's like 22, 23, 24, 25. I don't know, but anyways, when I was almost seven years old, my cousin Leah, who was about 13 at the time, um, took me to this show. You see, she was like watching me that day, but she decided that she was going to take me to the show because, you know, I was a little, I was a badass kid, maybe when I was like that age, still am now, I think. Um, well yeah, she ended up taking me to a band called Pensy Prep. I don't know if you guys have heard them, but if you haven't, you really suck because if you have not heard of Pensy Prep, you have no life. No, I'm just kidding. You have a life, but... I don't even know what to say if you have never heard of Pensy Prep. But, yeah, so I, that's how I first started. And I remember going home and uh, telling my mom about my amazing day and everything that happened and I remember she got really pissed off at Leah because you know who takes a six year old to a show like that my cousins I do but um anyways so then when I was about nine years old um Leah was telling me about this amazing band who had just just come out with their very first album uh, she was like I remember she was like oh yeah you should uh, you should like listen to this band because me and her are into the same kind of stuff and I was like nine and she's like yeah you should like I got this uh, this new CD from this really amazing band um, and you'll probably recognize, like, one of the guys in it, so I was like, okay. So I listened to them, and I was like, you know, these guys are pretty amazing, but, yeah, like, uh, I ended up being Mike Hem, and I remember the first song I listened to was, um, Our Lady of Sorrows, and at the time that like was one of my favorite songs it still is still is one of my favorite songs but it's not one of like my favorite I guess inspirational songs by them um but yeah it definitely is in one of my top favorites Top 10 at least by MCR. But, um, yeah, and so 
uh, I would just listen to them and, you know, like, and I, I just, I kind of, I relate to, I relate to all their, to their stuff. Um, I've never been the one to have many friends. In fact, when I was grade four, I was hanging out with the kindergartners, grade ones. Because, you know, with them being like four years younger than me, to them, I was a cool kid. But to everyone else that was my own age, I was just a loser. Yeah, and then, um, Three Cheers came out a couple years later, and listen to I'm Not Okay, and you see, um, this is where I start getting into my favorite MCR songs. Um, my favorite MCR song to this day still would have to be I'm not okay, I promise. Because, um, I know just listening to the song, like when I first listened to it, when the when the CD came out, which I remember um, being at the store at like 6 in the morning waiting for the store to open just to get the CD when it came out. Um, but when I first listened to I'm not okay, I remember I listened to it on repeat over and over and over again for probably about a week straight. That was just the one song I would listen to just over and over again and I would, you know, me, um, was a dope ass kid with a Walkman before I got an iPod. But just walk around with the CD playing in my Walkman, go to school, have it playing, and the one song I would listen to was I'm Not Okay, I Promise. That was the one, the one song and to this day I can still listen to it on repeat and um, I'm 18 now <laughs> to this day I can still listen to it over and over and over again and not get sick and tired of it um, but it is my favorite song by MCR because uh, and I just feel like it is the one song that I can relate to the most because um, I know just the title itself, I'm Not Okay, is just, like, I've been, um, throughout my years, I've been, like, bullied a lot. I've never had many, I've never had many friends, um, I've been shut, not into lockers, but, like, against the lockers. I get shoved against lockers. I've had uh, people stick my head into toilets. Um, I've had stuff. I've just been bullied, and so like that song right there is just like I'm not okay. Um, and it basically just like just describes me. It just. I don't really know, but when I listen to it, it's just like all this stuff comes into my head and it's just like, holy crap, even now this song still describes me so much. Um, I've been, I've had a really, like, I've had a rough, rough life and I know like a lot of people say that and it's just like, whatever, right? Like, I don't. I mean, I don't mean whatever, but it's just like a lot of people say they, they've had a rough life just for attention, I guess. And it's just like, it gets tiring, but like, I have had a rough life. Um, which is just like, and I've been in and out of hospitals, I've lost my best friend um, in the skateboarding accident thing which I will not get into because I will cry and I'm not gonna cry right now 
Um, and one of the other reasons is, I won't say it right now, but because it goes in with uh, one of the reasons to my other favorite MCR song. Um, getting into that now, my second favorite MCR song is Thank You for the Venom, which is what I have playing right now. Um, which has been on repeat probably for about two days now. Um, Thank You for the Venom is one of my other favorite songs from MCR because, I don't know, I've got, like, I'll sit there and I'll think about, like, revenge stuff for, like, I don't know, everyone who's bullied me, everyone who's ever hurt me, and so Thank You For The Venom just kind of like gets those thoughts going, you know, like, I know, it's, it's cool. <laughs> um, but Venom is just one of those, is one of those songs that I can just sit down and you know, have revenge thoughts going through my head. Um, but at the same time, it also calms me down. Like, if I'm upset, sometimes I'll listen to it, and it'll just calm me down. And like, other times, when I listen to it, it'll get me really going like really hyper and I'm already a hyper person just not right now because I'm trying to get this one video done um if this is what you want then fire I have two venom shirts um, I have one that says, it's a green one, it's on my floor somewhere, it says hallelujah lock and load. And I have another one, it's a fire at will shirt, it's just fire at will on the back and my chromance across the front and it's got like a gun on it and it looks pretty awesome. And I've got this shirt, here the MCR and the spider one. Um, and I have... Um, it's another one on my floor somewhere, a black parade shirt. I did have, like, I, I had another one, um, it was a I'm Not Okay shirt, but I don't know what happened to that shirt. It just kind of disappeared, but it was my favorite shirt. But yeah, um... Getting back on topic, my third favorite MCR song would have to be Cancer. Um, and this is the one that I was saying, there's another reason, but it fits in with the other favorite MCR song. Um, but it's Cancer because um, when I listen to it, I cry. I'm not going to lie, like, I cry when I listen to it. And, like, even when they play it live, I, like, I cry. But, um, the reason being is because I've lost a lot of people in my life to cancer. And the other main, main reason why it's my favorite is because, um, both my parents, my mom and my dad, have cancer. Um, and so yeah, it just, it kind of, you know, gets me through. Just gets me through it. it. Makes me cry, but it gets me through it. And so back to I'm not okay. That would be, that's another reason now as to why I listen to it too. And 
know that just gets me through it. It just like, I know it kind of takes my mind off stuff. And you know, it gets me thinking about my chemical romance. And how fucking amazing they are. And I just realized this video.